Y'all ready to blaze away or what? Let's do a little update. You know the Tekken 8 replay channels? These channels have been making a lot of noise and, and some people like it. Some people think it's very good information, right? You can see your favorite player play some matches and you can see Tekken, many different characters at the highest of highest levels. A lot of people like these. You could tell by the views, by the subscriber counts exploding. When I first was talking about this, there was people who was like calling me a hater, like, oh, you're hating, right? A lot of people like what's going on. Even Olsan, here's a tweet, so many viewers on my play video this is not my channel but i feel good and nice content for tekken 8 see olsan likes it fergus says is there any way to make replays i don't like scalper channels uploading random matches of me lol fergus got a lot of criticism because once again a lot of players like this content fergus quote tweets and says i don't know if i'm being the weird one by not liking this judging from the replies telling me i should be grateful for the advertising even though they don't even plug me anyways am i wrong reinhardt steps in you know reinhardt is the goat bro I once lost a tournament and after the match, the guy came up to me and said, thank goodness there's at least one replay of you playing this particular matchup in a set on YouTube. I never would have won otherwise, GG's man. So I totally get it, Fergus, right? So there's basically a divide growing. Some tournament players, they like to keep their tricks and tactics and schemes and all this stuff secret. All of that like psychological games that always, like this always existed no matter how far back you go with uh, Tekken. It's now gone with Tekken 8. Tekken 8, the replay channels are kind of eliminating that. It's one thing if you're just taking pri uh, public matches or matches people had on stream, but they're taking everything and a lot of people don't like it. Here's one of the biggest people, Spaghetti Rip. The online replay feature is actually so insane. And I would agree, I think it's amazing. There's some bugs in there, but it's really good. However, it's a bit crazy that we can access private lobby games of these players and watch them. Some of the players have felt a bit violated. Man, like, look, I want to be able to play a private lobby with my friend, with my training partner, and not not be put on YouTube. You know, Joey Fury steps in and says, chiming in on this late. Do people not realize this is being done with private lobby player matches? Someone responds and says, some of y'all just put four-hour vods on YouTube channel and call it good. These channels actually help people find players to follow and learn from. But I guess the FGC isn't about that. This response here, see, I understand this response, right? Like, well, also it's kind of entitled because if they want to just upload four hour VODs to their YouTube channel, then so what? They don't have to teach you or help you with anything. They could do whatever they want, right? Everybody, that's the, that's the whole thing about having your own YouTube channel. As long as you're not breaking terms of service, do whatever. But I do understand like players are desperate to learn their new setups, new characters, new matchups. It's just different, right? There's a lot of back and forth opinions and I'm just reading both sides so you guys understand like sooner or later, I think the developers is going to have to chime in. And uh, right now they haven't said anything, but so many people are giving their takes on this. I mean, it's a matter of time, right? It's a matter of time. Here's a very interesting tweet from me. This is on a separate topic. He says, fun fact, June is broken. She has no weakness points, launcher is safe, good poking, strong homing, and guaranteed follow-ups. Two strong combo damage, almost 90. 13 frame heat smash and recovery. If you don't believe this, try it. So this is interesting because we know Arsalan is playing Jun Kazama, right? And I wonder who else is going to play her. This is definitely, like, see, like people always focusing on Reyna and Sanchez, but those two characters are, they're not going to compare to Jun Kazama, in my opinion. The way it's heading, the way it's looking, everyone is kind of saying that this character is the most broken in the game. And we're bound to see Jun Kazama Grand Finals sooner rather than later. But regardless of that, I think Xbox says it best. Tekken 8 was more than what everyone expected it to. To be Tekken 8 is really good and is doing a lot of good things, but you got to talk about the issues that they're facing. It's a lot of them, a long list. Someone says currently a decent number of players have been facing this issue where they cannot find any matches on Tekken 8 online, and when they do play a friend and player match, they get a ping of 250 milliseconds. They have a screenshot here, and I and I've seen this screenshot on Reddit, and people also sent it to me on Twitter. But I'm just talking about this so you guys know that the developers are aware of it. Can you please tell me your Tekken ID? and player name for investigation. And tell me your region and country please is what Harada adds. So if you're on Twitter and this is something new that they're doing, you can either tag Harada respectfully, peacefully, and tell them your concerns 
or you can hashtag Tekken 8 report. That's a new thing that they started. Another person says, when multiple people are playing against each other in a three-way player match, after the first match is finished, you'll be returned to the lobby without being able to uh, watch the second match. Ikeda responds and says, this issue has been fixed. So at the time of recording, the spectating in player matches should be fixed. And once again, you can just see the power of this hashtag Tekken 8 report feature uh, working. There was someone who left a comment telling me to talk about to shine a light on a network error that they're facing. Um, I don't know what you're experiencing. Just take screenshots, use hashtag Tekken 8 report, and then hopefully the developers can make it work. Here's another glitch that I discovered day one of the game releasing, but I didn't even know it was a glitch. It says, so there's a glitch where the special style will pop up on your screen and you can't make it disappear. It happened to me twice in ranked. When this first happened to me on day one, I was so confused. I was like, wait, I didn't tell that thing to come up. And then I immediately went into the settings and I turned it off forever. I would suggest if you're not using special style, to simply turn it off because it glitching and popping up on the screen disastrous here we have another see this is a lot of stuff a lot of stuff happening with technique so the next thing we're going to talk about this is from brawl pro this next glitch is absolutely insane and it's more so of a hack. This also existed in Tekken 7. JDCR had a crazy name for it, but basically what happened in Tekken 7, the opponent would hit you one time. That one time would take away all three health bars and they would get a triple perfect and they would kill you, immediately rank up. But what it does in Tekken 8, at the start of the round, the hacker will take immediate damage and they will automatically lose the first round. At the start of the second round, your character will already be falling to the ground no health is an immediate perfect it will do it all three times in a row and basically the person will just increase in rank they will go up this is another thing that people are doing to basically cheat the system it's just pure madness see here's the thing right they knew people would be doing this if they think people would just stop and yet they don't have any like surefire way of stopping this they're in the process of trying to but they should have been prepared like this is something that should have been in the game day one. Oh, we catch you plugging, snipe. We catch you hacking, snipe. Like, how is this something like, oh, we need to work on something and all hands on, like what? That's crazy. On the topic of Harada, statistically, apparently most players have not reached the other faithful ending of Tekken 8 story mode, the Dark Awakening. In parentheses, he says, I don't have a concept of which is good and bad. The concept of a good and bad ending is really cool, but I think we all would agree that Jin Kazama's ending where he defeats Kazuya is probably the canon one. But what if they went the route of Mortal Kombat, where when they when that big explosion happens, they both lose their devil gene. What if that like fractured the multiverse and both of them were canon? Okay, now nah, I'm just playing. That's it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and bye-bye.